Now let's come to the first concept: scatter diagrams. First, let's look at this graph. It shows the correlation between age of buses and the maintenance cost. And from this graph, you may see that the older the buses, the more maintenance cost you have to spend. So we can also formulate it as the more of your x variable, the more of your y variables. So in this case, we say there is a positive correlation between age of buses and maintenance cost. In com comparison with that, let's look at this one: the correlation between auction price versus odometer. Odometer means how many miles your car has driven. So logically. The more miles your car has driven, the lower auction price you will sell your car in the future. And in this graph, you can say the more of your x variable, the less of your y variable values. So we say there is a negative correlation between odometer and auction price. Now let's look at the third situation. What is the correlation between how tall you are and how much you earn? For your salary, and from this graph, you can see that all the data points are randomly scattered. So we will conclude there is no correlation between your height and your salary. For those international students, if you cannot distinguish what dependent and independent variables mean、uh, in your own language, we also give the Dutch, German, and Chinese translations there. Please look at the slides. After knowing the scatter diagrams, now let's go on with independent and dependent variables. And we always put independent variables as our x variable, and we call our y variables as our dependent variables. So, in the case of the correlation between age of buses and maintenance cost. The age of our buses will be our independent variables, while the maintenance cost will be our dependent variables. And let's look at this one. So now it is easy to discern that the odometer is our independent variable, and the auction price is our dependent variable. And there is a negative correlation between our independent and dependent variable in this case. And all the regression analysis is based on the、uh, correlation between independent and dependent variables. Now let's look at these five figures: A, B, C, and D, and E. And you will find in the middle there is no correlation between our independent and dependent variable. And the difference between figure A and figure B is. In Figure A, all the data points tend to cluster around the trend line, while in Figure B, all the data points are more scattered. So we say that in Figure A, there is a strong and positive correlation between x and y variable, independent and dependent variables. While for Figure B, there is a moderate and positive correlation between x and y, independent and dependent variables. And you can use the same theory to apply to interpret Figure D and E. Figure D, there is a moderate and negative correlation between x and y. Figure E, there is a strong and negative correlation between independent and dependent variables.